moment. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Wow, material moment! You know what? You guys might be pretty good at this. You know what I'm saying? You might be all right. You might be all right. What's the word, y'all? Those kids you just saw are the homie De Baker, his kids. He's one of the producers that's on Mercurial Moments. Track number two, 10,000 Angstroms. He hit me up and he was like, look, I'm in sort of a pickle. He literally said he was in a pickle. Anyways, he said, the wife just left. I ran out of diapers. Do you think maybe you can go get some? And I'm like, uh, yeah, all right. So basically, y'all about to watch me go on this little journey trying to figure out how to get some diapers. Uh, yeah, but anyways, Let's just see what happens, guys. Uh, I don't know. And uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about the track, about the idea for it, see what D the baker's up to, too. Uh, yeah, so uh, y'all stay tuned, all right? Let's hop in the whip and see what's up. All right, so we in the whip, playing that joint right now. 10,000 Angstroms, produced by the baker, the bro. So 10,000 Angstroms. Well, first of all, Angstroms, let me turn this down just a little bit more, is a measurement used to measure basically like an energy field that an organic material will produce i mean all things potentially could produce them but mostly it's organic materials and basically like your body fruits and vegetables and just livestock and plants and all that i wanted to talk about like how much energy i can give off how much this means how much i produce a different way of saying like the energy level i bring yo i'm gonna give them 10,000 angstroms you know what i'm saying it's that it's just like electrified it's just a lot of energy it's a high level of rap it's just like a very very high level of skill set that I have basically. You know, just the bravado shit that MCs do, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I feel dangerous on this road doing this, so I'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute when I get to the store and uh, <laughs> look for these diapers. Dun dun dun. <laughs> All right, so I made it here safe and I found the product. So uh, don't say I never did nothing for you, DeBaker. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here and uh, we gonna uh, see what he up to when I get over to his spot. And uh, so y'all just stay tuned, man. I gotta get out of here, man. In and out. That's how I like to do it. Give him a couple moves. And I'm gonna yeah. give him two, like, yeah. points where, yeah. you know. Yeah, we vibing. Yeah, we vibing. We vibing. We vibing. Just that one and then yeah. this one. Live and direct. Yo, yo. <laughs> this is the baker right here, y'all. Yo. So uh, we here. He's cooking up, you know what I'm saying, some new stuff. He's talking about some stuff uh, Styles P was doing. I mean, the project's still, I don't even know if it's out yet, man. I don't know what's going on. Of course, the processing stuff happens, so it's only what you can do. But, um, hey, man, buddy, I'm busy right now. Hold on one second, man. All I know is, once it's out, y'all will know. And uh, in the meantime, in between time, you can go to the Bandcamp page if you would like to. You can hit that up. Uh, the link's right here. I'm going to put it right here. It's going to be right there. You can see it. Like five years, some of these joints. Yo, I swear to God, I've had some of these beats or some of these ideas for like five years. One eternity later. You know what I'm saying? Found it. Yeah. Any of the the particulars about like the VSTs or sounds you use? Or I think I pulled a Gladiator uh, VST up and got something off of that. It's pretty simple to be honest. We have there's yeah, some I Raptor, know. there's a Raptor VST in there. I mean, that was kind of the, the, the sort yeah. of the, the mindset I had, like I said. Indeed. For some of these joints, I really was like, yo, I want there to be sort of just a very little bit in there because I want to feed it with some vocals of other kinds, like in movie clips, other things of that nature. So, yeah. 10,000 Angstroms, the project should be out. Listen to it. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm out. If I would have done it separately down here, yeah. like right here, this is all the sounds on the pads, all the samples. I like the, um, the layout of all the different windows. It looks kind of yeah, like... No, it's cool. It's simple once you start, once you once you get familiar with it, it's, it's, it's cool. I just recently found out about the, that whole program thing and having it separate because I've been going in and doing individual pads, limited or something on it on each pad and it's like tedious as fuck. So you just go to the track and fucking edit it like that. That should be crazy though, right? When it's like you be doing shit the hard way and you find out there's a super instant way to do way. it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show you a full beat that I did. Real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Exclusive. Yeah. I know I know you want to know. Baker. He does rock star. Mr. 4.0, you know what it is. Anybody, if you haven't yet, go get the project, stream it, More download good. it, buy it, all that good stuff. <laughs> and in the meantime, between time, we're gonna keep working. So uh, yeah, we out of here, y'all. Yeah.
Um, that was the moment I had with DeBaker. That was a short clip for y'all to see. One of the other producers on the project, track two that he produced called 10,000 Angstroms. The project right now, I'm sure right now it will be live by the time this is out. So you can go to the link in my bio on Instagram. Go ahead, hit that, and wherever you like to stream it at. I want you guys to understand something very clear. Let me get this, just let me try to get this right so you can see me clear. <clears throat> Clear my thoughts so you can really hear me, understand me. Artists that are independent, that you're not signed to a label, have some big management, you know, we are putting all of our time and money into these things. What I would ask you to do is to go to an artist's page, like their Bandcamp page, or go directly to have a website and buy something directly from them. What happens is these things are filtered through systems. Now you just start getting dick because that's what's going on a lot with art. People who paint, a lot of stuff is being frauded and stolen and taken. You gotta feed the artists because that's how then they can go out here and give you more of this good art. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this is another episode of Make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. Like, comment, tell your friends, put it on your stories. That's it. Appreciate y'all time. I'm out of here. Until the next time, you know what it is. Square it up. Watch that motherfucker run. He's running to take a pee. He in the bushes taking a pee. That's some real life footage shit. Look, there he goes. He feels so much better now. Look at him. He's running for victory. There he is. And he's broke.